Six big ones. Of six. Yeah, an opportunity for Jude and I to ask Dell all the big questions around the game of rugby league. Tackle one, Jude. Josh Adokar, Dell, has, has said the reason he left the Storm was to step out of his comfort zone and to try and help a team get back to its glory days. He believes the Bulldogs can be a top four team. Do you agree? Look, I think uh, Josh Adokar, great signing for uh, the Bulldogs. But look, they won't be a top four side for a very long time. they got some good players going there, but they've got to change that culture, get the, the winning uh, DNA back there. Trent Barrett's got to put his, you know, stamp on the club now. And now he's starting to get some players. So this is not the storm. Like, he's got to understand Josh Adekar. There's a lot of work to be done, uh, but he's he's going to be the cornerstone and try and help that club back there. So it's positive from him, but I'm um, sorry, brother. All right, tackle two. There's growing noise <laughs> that Luke Brooks will be a knight before the uh, the 2022 season begins. Do you think the Tigers will let him go despite having two years left on his contract? Yeah, look, you never know what the Tigers' board are thinking, but I think for <laughs> Luke Brooks in general, I think he has to move clubs. I think he has to go somewhere because there's been so much pressure on him since he's been a youngster. I remember him coming through there and, you know, as a 16, 17-year-old and big things, the next Andrew Johns, blah, blah, blah. Hasn't think, played a finals game for the Tigers in nine years. Mate, I Surely think, it's good for him and the club. I think, mate, it's, it's smart. Just let him go. Go to the Knights. The Knights need something. He can be their man there. And then the pressure's off him there. He just goes there, plays on the back of uh, with Kalen Ponga and those sort of guys, and um, he'll do his thing there. So um, good player, but he just needs to move clubs. Now, the Premiers, the Panthers have terminated Tyrone May's contract following a serious breach of his contractual obligations amongst previous breaches. Your thoughts on this? Look, I, look, I think for the Panthers and Tyrone May, look, the Panthers have done everything possible to back Tyrone May here. They, they went through the system, um, the adversity. Uh, his grand final, he's a premiership winner. Obviously, you know, the celebrations you know, went over the top a little bit. So I just think it's the right thing to move him on to go to another club. Um, and no one's buying. No one's buying him at the moment, though, are they? There's the, no nibbles. They're not. They're not. But you know, I tell you what, they're very loyal from Nathan Cleary. Nathan Cleary and him are best mates, and even Nathan Cleary. You Do you know, think Nathan should have gone? You know, a personal, you know, message rather than getting out there on social to back him up. Uh, look, I'm not going to judge anyone. You know what? Because I've been through those tough times. It's good to see that the boys have got your back. I know when the Wallabies, I got suspended that they had my back and that. So, um, yeah, it's a tough one. But well done, Nathan Cleary, on his uh, loyalty. Okay. Uh, Rumours are suggesting Pong is going to be that Dolphin first marquee signing. They're talking about $1.4 million a year. Would he be the right man? 100% he'd be the right man. I think I said this. I love Cameron Munster. He's my favourite player on that. But when you buy Carlin Ponga, you're not just buying the player. You're buying a brand off the field as well. I think he does his photography stuff. He loves his coffee and all this. And I think him and his uh, partner in crime, these bromance, Connor Watson, I know that's going to be a bit of a separation there. Well, Watson's now at the Roosters. That's right. So, so it only makes sense. I know he's a, he's a big deal around Newcastle, but he's a big deal everywhere. Um, so I'd love to see him go to Redcliffe. And Pete Volandi spoke about it and said 200,000 extra eyeballs. 100%. That, he's the sort of player that would bring that. And, and for someone like Carlin Pong, he doesn't just sing football. He thinks outside that, whether it's clothing brand, whether it's eyewear, whether it's, you know, different, you know, health stuff or whatever. So, Callum Pong is my man if I'm the Dolphins. 1.4 million. There you go. Tackle yeah. five. Uh, Craig Fitzgibbon, the new Sharks coach, has said that Cameron McInnes is, is impressed him so much at Origin Camp. Wherever I go, I'm going to take you. And now he's got him at the Sharks. Well, that's – some players can have a big impact on a coach. You know, some coaches look at a player and go, oh, yeah, look – He's not really my cup of tea, but, you know, he'll get the job done. Yeah, line through him. But there's players like Cam McInnes, and I've got to tell you, watching the Dragons over the years, he's been my favourite player to watch for a long time. Gareth Widdop and him. Um, and I can understand why Craig Fitzgibbon, he's a bloke that I played against. Uh, he's a bloke that I respect. And then, you know, I've got, he's got his man here. Cam McInnes will be great, great leader on and off the field uh, for the Sharks, and uh, he'll do a really good job there, so well done. It's exciting, the Sharkies and yeah. the Bulldogs, a couple of really good signers, new coach and it's at the fresh. Sharkies. It's fresh, it needs to be freshened up, those two clubs, and that's what's happening now. Exactly right. Tackle number six, Brandon Smith, the most wanted off-contract player by far. They're talking about the Titans, the Dolphins, the Cowboys. However, the Roosters are now looking favourites for his signature. Reedy said that this morning, so... What do you reckon is the best move for him? Well, I think he, he started at the Cowboys. The Cowboys, when he was up there, he obviously wasn't – he was still a good player, but him and Kickout actually started uh, in the Cowboys system. So, obviously, they both kicked on all right, too, just quietly. <laughs> um, but I think for him, it's, it's, it's an easy choice to go to the Roosters, you know. You're going to be top four, some good players. But if I was him, I'd be going to the Titans. I, I just reckon, like, Tino, um, you've got uh, Fafita yeah. there. Uh, you've got uh, Brimson there. It's exciting. Um, um, young um, – What's his name? He's a fullback. Uh, Jaden. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, Campbell, Campbell, Jack sorry. Campbell, yeah, young yeah. Campbell. Mate, how exciting Preston. would that be? Mate, Brandon Smith could lead these guys. He could be the, the linchpin that they need there. So I'd love to see Brandon Smith go on the Gold Coast. I know you've got to be mentally sort of strong off the field. <laughs> I knew back in the day the Gold Coast probably wasn't going to be a good place for me to, to sign. <laughs> but I did go there for some well-needed uh, R&R at different stages. Can you stages. imagine if Munster goes to the Dolphins and the Cheese oh, goes on, to the hang Titans? On, hang on. All <laughs> of a sudden. Wow, wow, wow. Coming up.